Could the universe be sending us messages? Years ago, Oumuamua left us baffled, and now another object is here. But this time, astronomers are better prepared, and what they find might rewrite the rules of interstellar exploration. Are we ready to decode the secrets of the cosmos? Let's find out. In September 2020, astronomers scanning the skies noticed something unusual. A faint, fast-moving object had entered Earth's vicinity. They labelled it 2020 SO, another addition to the growing catalogue of near-Earth objects tracked by NASA and other observatories. But this one stood out almost immediately. Unlike the typical asteroids or comets that cross our planet's path, 2020 SO displayed a trajectory and speed that didn't quite match anything scientists had seen before. It was moving in an orbit suspiciously similar to Earth's, and its pace suggested it lacked the typical heft of a natural object. Right away, astronomers had more questions than answers. The object's motion was the first big clue that something strange was going on. Most near-Earth asteroids follow predictable patterns dictated by gravitational pulls from the Sun and other planets. But 2020 SO didn't behave that way. Its path looked unnaturally smooth, as if being guided, almost intentionally, by forces other than gravity. To make things even stranger, its velocity wasn't typical for an asteroid. Natural objects moving towards Earth from the solar system tend to zip through space much faster. 2020 SO, however, was traveling at a rate that practically screamed out of place. This puzzling behavior led scientists to wonder what exactly they were dealing with. A small asteroid that had somehow been dramatically slowed down by some cosmic anomaly. Or maybe it was an odd comet, stripped of its gaseous tail and outer layers, now resembling a tiny lifeless fragment. These theories raised a lot of possibilities, but each time astronomers examined the data, 2020 SO refused to fit neatly into any natural category. Then came the moment that shifted everything. By measuring its motion more closely, scientists noticed something unmistakable. The object didn't seem to follow the sun's gravitational influence alone. It was responding to something called the Yarkovsky effect, a pressure caused by sunlight reflecting off its surface. While the Yarkovsky effect impacts small asteroids too, the extent of 2020 SO's response seemed exaggerated. Normal solar system objects don't act this way. Combined with its low speed and Earth-like orbit, the evidence was enough to confirm that this wasn't a common space rock. It couldn't be natural. With that realization, astronomers began an elaborate process of elimination. If it wasn't an asteroid or a comet, what could it be? The idea of an interstellar visitor, something like Oumuamua, crossed many minds. Still, this didn't line up entirely either. Its movements were peculiar, but not indicative of a deep space origin. Eventually, the most extraordinary possibility entered the discussion. That 2020 SO might be artificial. The sunlight pressure effect hinted at an unusually reflective surface, like painted metal. Could it be debris, left by humans in space decades ago? Historians, astronomers, and engineers all poured over the available records, searching for any match. What finally cracked the mystery was a combination of tools and technology. High-powered telescopes, like those at the Pan Stars Observatory in Hawaii, provided precise images. Devices capable of spectroscopic analysis read the composition of 2020 SO's surface as light bounced off it, showcasing its distinctly non-natural characteristics. The data was almost undeniable. This wasn't the handiwork of nature. It was the result of human engineering. Further digging matched 2020 SO's orbit to an object launched into space during the Cold War era, a Centaur rocket booster from the 1966 Surveyor 2 mission. Once boosted beyond Earth's gravity, pieces of old rockets often linger in weird paths around the sun for decades. This particular relic had just returned to us. 
the similarities to Oumuamua didn't go unnoticed. Like 2020 SO, Oumuamua baffled astronomers when it was first discovered, though for entirely different reasons. Where Oumuamua's cigar-shaped body and staggering speed hinted at an interstellar origin, 2020 SO's reflective, lightweight material pointed to its earthly beginnings. But the connection lies in their shared ability to challenge what we expect from objects in our solar system. Both forced scientists to rethink the labels we use to categorize celestial bodies, and how prepared we are to identify their true origins. If nothing else, 2020 SO proved how important observation and quick action are when tracking mysterious objects racing through space. In an era of advanced telescopes and rapid data processing, astronomers were able to identify 2020 SO's artificial nature with relatively few delays. But what happens when the next one comes along, and this time, it isn't connected to Earth? What if it really is an alien messenger crossing the stars? Identifying 2020 SO was a triumph of science and teamwork, but space constantly challenges us to be ready for the unknown. So here's the question. What if the next visitor is genuinely interstellar? Are we ready to meet it head on? Let's explore that next. Imagine spotting an object from another star system hurtling through space and having the tools ready to study it in real time. What would we discover? When Oumuamua was identified in 2017, it was already on its way out of the solar system, leaving researchers scrambling to make sense of its bizarre properties. Scientists pieced together clues from limited data. It was cigar-shaped, tumbled through space with no visible trail, and accelerated slightly before vanishing beyond the range of telescopes. Those details sparked global fascination and unease. Was it a shard of frozen interstellar rock? Or a chunk of alien technology? By the time the questions sank in, the opportunity had slipped away. The most frustrating aspect of Oumuamua's visit wasn't just its brief window of study. It was how underprepared humanity was to capture meaningful data before it disappeared. Existing telescopes weren't designed for rapid observations of objects moving that quickly. Efforts to measure its trajectory and surface left much to guesswork, and scientists had to rely on fragments of information rather than concrete, high-resolution data. Even simple questions, like what it was made of, couldn't be definitively answered. It highlighted a critical gap in humanity's ability to respond to cosmic events that occur without notice. But we've learned from that experience. Since Oumuamua, researchers have been working to solve these gaps. Technological advancements in astronomy have picked up speed to ensure something like Oumuamua doesn't slip through undetected again. Next-generation telescopes, such as the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, promise to revolutionize how we observe the skies. When operational, Rubin's massive sky survey capabilities will allow it to detect faint, fast-moving objects far earlier than existing systems. This means scientists could notice interstellar visitors while they're still inbound, not after they've zipped past. The universe doesn't just hold mysteries. It sends them straight to our doorstep. From Oumuamua to 2020, ESO, every strange visitor challenges how we see the cosmos and our place in it. But here's the exciting part. Our ability to study these objects is growing faster than ever. With sharper tools and smarter systems, we're closer to answering questions we never thought to ask. What secrets could the next visitor hold? Could it change everything we know? The cosmos is vast unpredictable, and filled with opportunities for discovery. The real question is, are we ready to rise to the challenge?